Nick, you're in a precarious position because your company's marketing is taking the approach of, let's give the people the stuff for free, hopefully they'll love it, get used to it, and then they'll pay to upgrade. I get it, I understand. I, I went to college, I, I have a degree in marketing. I understand what they're doing. They're also making it difficult for you, Nick, because they're getting all this stuff for free and now you gotta come in and charge them something. So what you have to do is reverse engineer this and your insight and everything else, you more than anybody else on this call need to sit on the solution, sit on the upgrade, and you need to go, okay, well what are the differences between the free product and the this pay product or the cheap pay product and the more expensive pay product? Where if I squeezed every bit of value out of it, where would that value come from? And that's the insight that you need to give Franklin and say hey you know a lot of people what subcontractors are not realizing is yes they have access to deal flow yes this and everything's free but what's not free is their time and it's two or three deals that will make or break their company each week each quarter of each month but unfortunately they don't have access to those deals and when those deals do come they tend to be muttered and, and in with the mix and they don't know which is which and they're not able to devote the right amount of time, right amount of resources to those two or three that would have been home runs for the subcontractor. How are you handling that, Rick, at, at, at R and Sons? Well, it's, it's a problem. I mean, we really try, yeah. The, how, how many deals extra, like where are you guys at in terms of top line revenue? Where could you be? Like if you got an extra three good deals, not crappy deals where you had to take everything, there was still some meat left on the bone, you didn't have to run, you weren't putting cheap product in there, um, you didn't have a, you could devote a whole crew to it. Like if you had three more of those every month, how, what would that mean to you guys in terms of top line revenue, right? Well, I mean, it'd be significant. When you say significant, can you give me an example? And then you're able to say, hey, because of the fact that you said you guys are at 4.7 million right now, you would like to hire another crew, but you need at least 7 million in top line revenue to get there. I would like to recommend getting you stepped up from our free product to our platinum suite. What that is gonna do, there's a number of features in there. Um, they're all great, but what I wanna focus on is that's gonna identify those three deals, and they're gonna be three deals that nobody else is getting. Those are essentially exclusive to a very small group of subs, and those are gonna be the ones that if we can close on those and still do what you're doing right now with the free product, that's gonna be that difference between the four and seven million. Does it make sense to get you upgraded? Well, how much does it cost? It's an additional 1,800 a month. That's a lot of money, I agree. But we gotta get you from four million to seven million, right? And this is why, like just what we talked about, I'm monetizing before I tell him about the product. Because if I wait to tell him about the product, he can't ask me how much. But if I lead with, hey, I wanted to tell you about the upgrade, he's gonna go, how much is the upgrade? And then I have to either be a used car salesman and go, well, before we talk about that, let me talk about this. And he's gonna go, I don't, and I'm, I'm all good, call me later. Or I'm gonna have to be honest and tell him the price is 1800 a month and he's gonna go, I'm all good, call me later. Right, this is why we have to, you gotta sit around and come up with an insight and it's there. It's there. It's there for all of us, right? So the, so the really weird part is, is like I already have like a very consulted sales approach. This mm -hmm. is, that's how I am with people. Mm -hmm. um, and like the biggest thing that my sales managers do notice is my retention or, and like cancellations is absolutely low. Yeah. I've had two people the entire time I was here ever cancel. Cause you're not slamming them. Well, I'm not, I'm not feature bombing them. Is yeah. I'm not doing, I'm asking them about the problem, but it's like that weird pivot between the cold call and actually getting on the point of what they want. And they won't tell me cause they already got their guard up. Uh, yeah, that's why you have that, to that's just, the, that's, that's why you have to wait even longer and have the call be, you literally just want to know them about something. Ideally, you literally just want to tell them that this is something that most, that every subcontractor is having to deal with and nobody's talking about, and then almost wait for them to say, can you help me with this, right? You, and maybe even practice, and just for practice sake, Nick, maybe practice before you ever allow yourself, like we're gonna put the donuts on the bat and we're gonna swing the heavier bat. Why don't you do this? See if you can get through 10 calls just telling somebody about the issue without even solving the problem. You don't have to, and by the way, that works in relationships too. Let's just tell them about the issue and let's not try and come up with a solution. They're gonna expect you to have a solution. I want you for 10 calls to go, nope, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to make sure you were aware of this, 
and just get in the get it. It's not it doesn't help you in your sales career, but it totally does. It doesn't help you, but it totally does because it's getting you in the flow state of going, hey, my first job is to deliver the information. My second job is to see if I can help. My third job is to sell them on working with me. If by delivering the information, they help themselves, great. If by delivering the information and seeing if we can help, they go with a competitor, I don't care. I'm moral, I'm ethical, and I'm forthright, and I'm gonna wait until I've completely monetized this sale before I even make a recommendation. Um, so just, just let them know before you diagnose and try a couple at bats of that and I think you'll start to get in a better flow state because you're in a you're in an industry where they're gonna push you that way you need to be like that's not why I wanted to call right I wanted to call because you guys have been a client of ours I just want to make sure you guys were aware of this right I live and breathe this stuff so try that a little bit I'm not sure if it's for you but if you work in sales and you absolutely positively have to double or triple the amount of money you're making in order to truly enjoy your life Click the link here. My name is Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Easton University. It's the most effective sales coaching in the world. Click the link here. Check it out. You're going to see we'll give you access to an on-demand learning portal that's going to give you video coaching with me on everything you need to know to double or triple your income or even more. Everything from prospecting to closing to handling objections and complaints to building your personal network and self-confidence. But it doesn't stop there. Click the link here, you're gonna see that when you get a membership to Easton University, you're also gonna have the ability to do live coaching with me twice a week. You can ask me any questions. We can work through anything you're struggling with. I will be there with you every step of the way to help you double your income in sales right now. Click the link now, you're gonna see we've helped thousands of people just like you and we have the video testimonials from them to prove it. Easton University is more than a learning portal. It's more than live coaching with me. It's your future, and you and your future are worth it. Click the link now. I'll see you at Easton University.